Let's head over to Chef Mark, who's joined by the very lovely Chelsea Winter, and you've got meatballs on the menu this morning, guys. Yeah, that's right. Really exciting today. We've got Chelsea back in the kitchen, and she's got a brand new book out just in time for Christmas. And what are we going to cook today? Meatballs in the morning. Fantastic. And there's a little story behind the title of the meatballs, Oh, yeah. There? So they're actually called Mamma Mia meatballs. Um, sounds a little cheesy, and it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, I, I usually go to Italy um, on a tour every year, and I come back and I picked up all the, you know, the lingo the and language. stuff. The, yeah, exactly. And uh, I come back and I'm always saying "Mamma mia," like instead of "Oh my gosh." And my husband Mike is just like, "Can you stop with the mamma mia? It's actually you don't sound cool when you say it." And so I was like, "Yeah, I'll just name a recipe after it." Fantastic. Mm -hmm. He's going to really hate you today. Yep. <laughs> right, let's head over to Mel. Here I go again. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mamma Mia, we are making Chelsea's meatballs. How can we resist them? And these are from your new book, Eat Chelsea. Yes, they are indeed. Great. So this book was just released last week. You were here last time, actually. Your book had just come out. So it's great. Yeah. It's a long time between books. Well, it's a year. It's a lot of cooking yeah. too, isn't it? A lot. Yeah, there are like 95 recipes in there. Wow. And all written, tested uh, by me. So it's been a... A long and delicious journey. Now, I hate to be obvious, but what is the theme of the book? Eating? Just eating, eh? <laughs> just eating, okay, good. Uh, just delicious food. Like, there's a whole section on really delicious, easy family dinners. Um, of course, there's the baking and dessert section, because everyone loves baking and mm. desserts. Um, there's a slow cook section. Nice. Which is always nice. Oh, um, I love a good slow yeah, cook. Yeah, it's got in like a condiments and sauces and sides, you know, like lemon butter and pesto and all that kind Everything. of Everything. Everything. Yeah. Nice. Okay, well, let's put Mark to work then. I'll just stand <laughs> back and do nothing. It's quite yeah. nice actually just being able <laughs> Isn't to, it? I know. to take a load off over here. <laughs> I mean, he's a top chef, but on the show he works hard. Uh, what, what, what are we doing first? Look at the quality of those onions too. Not having to chop onions, what a novelty. I know, I cry when I chop onions. Yeah. Right, so we're going to make, make the meat... Cry? No. Okay. He only cries when he's working with me. So I'm pleased, I'm pleased you're between us, Chelsea. Okay, so that's obviously onions. What are we doing now? Garlic. Right, okay. yeah, so chop some onions, chop some garlic, and uh, we've got some meat there. So we've got some beef and pork mince, haven't we? Yeah. What is the Double difference meat. with your meatballs? Because, you know, meatballs are meatballs. So what, how no, do you make not. it? Okay. <laughs> No, Good. they're not. Explain. Well, okay, so the, the mixture of the pork and the beef mince, so, so it's tradition, that's very Italian, so okay. the, the pork mince has loads of flavour in it, Yum. Um, and also a nice little fat content too, so you get that juicy deliciousness. Um, and so this recipe's kind of cool, because, you know, there's the traditional meatballs and spaghetti recipe, which I've got, yes. and you sort of, you make the sauce in a pan, you know, fry the onion and, and, and simmer it down, and that's cool. Right. But this is removing a step, this one. So this is a bake. So you, you, you make the meatballs yes. and the sauce ingredients just go into the, the casserole dish without right. having to cook it all up first. And oh, that just, nice. then you bung it in the oven okay. all together. Oh, I like the way you're thinking. And yeah. that does all the work. <laughs> so it's just making dinner time a little bit less stressful. Great, I love it. And yeah. I can see a whole lot of different ingredients that we're going to be using over uh, the cooking segment. So part one, we've got the meat, we've got the pork and the beef. Yep, finely chopped onions. And the more, the finer you can chop your onions, like mince them basically, um, the, the better the meatballs hold together, I find. Just nice. a little tip there. Um, and we've got an egg going in, free range of course, and tomato paste for a nice little grunty bit of flavour. Good work, Mark. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Are you sure that's uh, the right tool for the job? Well, there, the older. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. You should just be getting them with your hands. Well, yeah, yeah. Or use Not a bigger spoon. No, it's, uh, it's looking very good. And um, don't forget to season the mix, right? Yeah, we'll give it a good season. So. I put a little bit of seasoning in, but I'll put a bit more in because it's you do need quite a lot of seasoning, don't you? You know, there's quite a lot of meat in here. I think yeah, more than you generally think with that much meat, I'd say. Oh, yum, yum, yeah. yum. Okay, Look and at that. beautiful. And clearly, you've been to Italy a bit, have you? Um, well, for the last few years, I've been lucky enough to go once a year with my Trafalgar tour. So we, I go away with a bunch of kiwis and we eat lots of food and good. have a bit of a, a bit of a time and get some good inspo like this. Nice yeah, work. Yeah, it's just, you know, Italian food, it's, it's my favourite cuisine, I think, I have nice. to say. Um, it's just it's just too delicious. I mean, you know, you've got your oregano, you've got your, your beautiful fresh basil, your rosemary. Um, it's all very Such easy to do. Such a fresh, sort of simple, tasty cuisine, isn't it? It is. And it's a crowd pleaser. Like, yeah. this is a family, this is designed to be a family meal. Oh, there, his hands are in there now. Look at that. So no, you it always tastes better here. when you get your hands in it. I agree. Right, so a bit of parsley went in there. Yep, so that's all in. It's all well mixed. And then what sort of size meatballs? Big ones? Small well, ones? Well, yeah, big. Yeah, that, that big. 
Yep. Like, yeah, no, that's good. No, not smaller, bigger. Oh, <laughs> it's all about the balls the here. Um, so, we, yeah, it's because they're going in the oven and they're going to be in there for about 35 minutes. So they will, you know, they, if they're too small, they'll overcook. Right, you don't yeah. want them too tough, yeah. do you? No, yeah. you like them juicy. So big balls, that's Moist. what we're talking here. And the yeah. baking dish. Chelsea is with us here in the Cafe Kitchen. She's got a new book out called Eat. We always love her when she brings out a book because it's a good excuse for her to come on and make Mark work hard. Uh, and he is working hard. Now, I spotted an ingredient before which has now got into our meatballs. Yeah. What yeah. was Oats. it? Oats. Oats, yeah. There you Oats. go. That's interesting. I actually picked that up from my mum. Okay, nice. Like, she'd often make a meatloaf and instead of putting breadcrumbs in, she'd just, if she ran out or whatever, she'd just put oats in. Right. And she's kind of swore by it. So sometimes I like to mix it up. But you can use breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. or whatever you've got on hand for the recipe. That's but... a great idea because it'll probably give you a little bit of texture through it as well. Yeah. The same yeah. Sort of, um... Some sort of process. And what people don't realise is that the crumbs and the oats or whatever it is, they actually soak up a little bit of the fat in the meat and it just really holds the flavour in there. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I love that. that, right? Yeah. It's so good. Okay, so with the meatballs oh. that we're cooking, what do we need to do? Are we browning them off slightly? Yeah, so basically if, you've, if, you've put, if you put them in the oven just as they were, yeah. you'd probably get a slight browning on top, but not enough. You need that dark colour to get the flavour. Like okay. that is what the flavour, like where a lot of it comes from. So we're just giving them a quick blast first. So they don't need to be cooked through or anything. Right. And then they go into the uh, into the dish just on the sauce ingredients and they cook all up together. Brilliant. And cooking in the oven. So. Okay, cool. Well, right, we'll so keep an eye on them. And now what are we going to do? Right, so we're going to make the sauce. I'll press you all the oh, ingredients. Oh, you're wearing nice white things. I might just <laughs> keep this tomato sauce away from that. So it's a bit of canned tomato there. Nice and cheap. You can get organic ones that are really cheap in the supermarket, actually. Yep, you can. Yeah. And, like, great flavour in these. You don't have to feel like, oh, no, I'm using something tinned that's not good. If it's just good quality um, Italian tomatoes, you're bags of flavour. Bit of chilli. Yep. Thank you. Some oregano. Oregano. Yes. Nice. Mamma mia. Oh, what are we doing here? Some fennel <laughs> seeds. Fennel seeds are optional, I'll but I really there. like the nice little punchy flavour they add. Okay, nice. And this is just the sauce we're doing. This is just the sauce. Okay, great. And it goes straight into the baking dish. Easy. So not too much faffing, you see. Good, we like that. We don't like too much faffing on a weeknight, do no. we? How do you know what recipes to put in a book? Uh, well, to be honest, I kind of just go with it. Yeah. Like, so... Trust your gut. I just design recipes, well, I test recipes and then, you know, if I like them, they go into the book. So I ended up with four loaf recipes in this book, <laughs> in the baking section. Like, more loaves than cakes. There you go. And I didn't plan that. I just got to the end and I was like, wow, loaves must be in. Like, right, I like them all. Let's put them in. Totally. So who gets to test the food? Uh, well, me my, yes. and my friends and family. Oh, wow, I'm coming around to your place for <laughs> dinner <laughs> then. <laughs> my neighbours usually end up getting some. Good. And, you know, nothing wow. goes to waste. It all gets given to a uh, very willing home. That's the dream scenario, isn't it? You know, if you're living next door to a cook and she's <laughs> testing out recipes, you you get the, the trial period just about every day of the week. Nice work. Your neighbours must love you. It okay, a bit of tomato worse. paste. Yeah, tomato paste is yep. great because it adds a real, just a, a real... Um, depth of flavour, yeah. just in case you need something a little bit extra, but it can be quite bitter, so that's why with a tomato dish like this, I'll always add a little bit of sugar. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. Sugar, salt, um, you know, get that nice balance of mwah. Right, you happy, you happy with your balls? <laughs> yeah, I think they're quite good. They're, they're nicely browned. Good. So it's good, so we'll just put the meatballs straight on top. Yep. Oh, they I know. Look, they Chelsea, do. do we? I just said yes. <laughs> yep, you're on time, Okay, good. Sweet. So I read your book before you arrive. Yeah. And I like to say in the recipe, I say nestle them in there. So oh, just, nestle. You know, okay. put them to bed like that in their little sauce, oh, their little sauce blanket. Nice. And um, don't put that in there. And then they'll go in the oven and later on we'll smother this with a bit of cheese nice. and finish it off when it comes out. Okay. Um, bubbling and delicious. Oh. Okay, love it. So we've talked about some of the recipes in your book. Mark, you've had a good flick through. Is there one that takes your uh, fancy? Scotch deck. Oh, That's I love a good scotch deck. That's awesome, yeah. We should have made that. Yeah, well, it plenty of time. There's plenty of time left in the year, Mark. We've got a few shows to get through. Um, and what about you? What's your fave in the, re in the oh, book? Oh, don't make me pick a favourite. Okay, it's all right. We've got to go anyway. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay Mark and Chelsea, it is over. And I tell you what, there is some hotness in the kitchen this morning. That's, That's just right. you. That's just you two. Um, this, is, this is turned up. Great, isn't it?